Hi, I'm Jesse with Beethoven Boy Productions. I have a quick tutorial on how to automate parameters the quick and lazy way. So I have this track here, this client, he wants it panned uh, a little more aggressively. Let's give it a quick listen. Okay, now it's really a composite of a hi-hat and some kind of weird uh, wishy-washy uh, percussion. Anyways, I'm using Pan Man by Sound Toys, which is a fantastic uh, panning plugin. So I dialed up uh, some settings that I like for this particular um, sound. Okay, so it's pretty aggressive stuff. Now, I don't want the hi-hat to be panned, just all the wishy-washy stuff. So if I take the width all the way to zero, there's no effect. So one way I could kind of think of this is, well, we just turn off the width for the hi-hat and turn it back up for everything else. Now that's a crude way to do it, but I found a faster, a little more elegant solution to do this. So we're going to use a Max for Live device. It's called LFO. So here's our LFO. Now we have to map it to whatever parameter we want. So we hit map. Now you have to make sure you open up your options menu here and you can't click on the uh, parameters in the actual plugin. So I'm going to use with and as you can see here and here it's already modulating it. Okay so I want it to, to be in sync so I just click on frequency and you'll notice the rate changes from uh, actual hertz to uh, tempo relative. So I'm going to put it on quarter notes and then I'm going to choose rectangle option which is basically off and on. Now let's uh, give it a list and see what happens. Okay pretty cool but it's doing the opposite of what I want. It's actually turning the width on when the hi-hat hits, turning it off when the rest of the material goes. So a real quick easy way to fix that, you use phase, uh, put it on negative one, you can do positive one. They're basically um, negative 180 degrees, positive 180 degrees. Either one will work fine for this situation, most situations. So set that to negative one, and now we'll listen and look and see what's going on. There you go, very quick and easy. Now there's a couple other options here, uh, jitter and smooth. Uh, I'm going to mess around with the smooth option and listen and watch and see what this does. Kind of does more of a human effect, so it's not just an abrupt value change. It's kind of like you're, you actually have your hand on the knob and you're moving it. Here's a pretty extreme setting. Notice it's going slower. I like it right there. Now you also have a jitter function. Uh, it adds some randomization to it. I don't use it so much. It's pretty aggressive, but try it out. See if you like it. Notice the knob is moving a little more chaotic. Turn the key down. And you can see the waveform you know, accordingly. So there you go. I uh, hope that works. You could use this to manipulate almost any manipulatable parameter in a plugin. Uh, let me know how this works for you. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I'll get back to you. Thank you.